Welcome to Warm Ups with Warbands Comics. I am co-creator and artist, Sun Spawn Snips. Let's get started. So, um, today I really just want to um, work on my poses. Uh, let's do pencil. I like to do um, trying to get my thing set up. I forgot to. Um, this is a Clip Studio tab mate. I highly recommend if you are using Clip Studio, which I also recommend. I'm going to make my brush super huge. I know people recommend that you start off smaller, so I'm working with a far away area, I suppose you could say. zoom in just a smidge so I have a bigger area to work with. So she's about halfway over. Her head is about right here. We have this arm getting thrown out just over the hip. And it's almost level with that shoulder, but it goes up a smidge. And then her wrist is straight because good fighters don't break your wrist. Keep that shit straight. That's one thing too. My reference is a fighter. She's legitimately throwing a kick. I it, It's good to get reference photos, absolutely, but you always gotta double check where your reference is coming from. Because if someone's throwing a kick and you can tell they're like doing those stock reference photos, they may mean well, but they may be doing improper form so the people who know what to look for might completely get taken out of the photo because they're like that that kick is all bent and shit and it just doesn't look right mike the writer and editor does that all the time he really appreciated the first john wick because it was like wow he's actually moving like fucking operators do. Oh, he was trained. That makes sense. But then you see other things um, throughout uh, movies and stuff where it just it looks cool in the movies and it's like that's the fucking horse shit. Come on. And then she's got to do that. And then Rod is muscular. All right. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to shrink the brush back down. Come in. All right, so is right there. She's in a photo shoot, so she's got her makeup all done up. But I'm not quite sure if I'm going to add all that detail. This is a warm up, after all. Do, do, do. I really liked um, the animation style in Kim Possible's uh, 
like the little lips but whenever I integrated that into my art a lot of people were like why does this broad have a mustache because the top lip is just solid and uh, apparently it looks like a mustache when done incorrectly <laughs> so I try not to do that anymore But yeah, I I need to work on anatomy and stuff. So whenever I get the chance, whenever I'm not doing fan art for warm ups, this is what I do. She's got her bulky wraps. It's also very interesting to define a muscle in a woman because stereotypically women are more thin and curvy um, versus men are thicker and more angular when it comes to art, animation, all that beautiful shenanigans. Um, so to draw muscular women, it's a very interesting balance to find that like aesthetically pleasing line. That is the elbow. So those are muscles, I swear they are. But yeah, it's really hard to find that happy medium of muscular and masculine for um, female fighters and muscular women. Yeah, especially when they have their um, chest built up because most sexy pinups and stuff like that are going to have um, uh, softer forms. They're not going to necessarily have the definition that a um, what do you call it? Active fighter or um, bodybuilder, female bodybuilder would have. She's got her clothes flowing. She has a sweater. <laughs> I promise it's legal. Um, but yeah. I just find the musculature of females just very interesting. It goes too far over. There we go. Super short. But I gotta keep that hip in there. And then she's got that, um. I forget what the fucking term is, but that fucking V you get around the hip. There we go. She's keeping her core tight and straight. Bravo! Madam, looks really good. A belly button. I used to play the belly button so fucking high. It was bad. I used to overcompensate in my drawings a lot. Um, the model I had for the longest time was me, and I'm not ideal proportions. That's not me being like, oh my god, I am. I the ugliest, isn't that hilarious? It's like, I just, I, I know what I have. <laughs> I know the cards I've been dealt. And I'm a little weird shaped. 
I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, so for the longest time, I was my own reference. And my anatomy was so incredibly off. It was I would do, um, I still kind of do, if I don't have a reference, I'll do super long torsos and super short legs. And because the torsos are super long, I'll put the belly button where it should be on a normal person and then the waist just keeps going. <laughs> so it's just, it's all kinds of janky. <sighs> this lady's thighs. Dang. Dang, Hillary. Oh, if you haven't seen the, uh, the meme queen video, Hillary meme queen, go look that up. It'll make your day. It's pretty cringy, but simultaneous, uh, simultaneously wonderful. Um. Yeah. So again, it's with muscles, you have definition and typical drawing, like you just have one solid stroke for a woman, just smooth and curvy, not all these fucking angles and shit. Like this knee, muscular fucking knee. I remember uh, looking at your boy Zach break down a Marvel, Captain Marvel uh, comic. And her, the top of her knee, where the leg met the knee, it looked like lumpy loaf, like bread loaf. It was, it was bad. Like one of those little knot rolls. Just a knot of bread. It was fucking disgusting. Because I guess somebody looked up bodybuilder reference for Captain Marvel. And she's, she's got strength, but she's not, you know, buff, ripped. That was just... Oof. Did not look right. Because, like, the rest of her form was thinner. Just toned. And then her knees looked like fucking bodybuilder's knees. It was bad. Bad, 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 bad. Um, I don't know who the artist is. Not insulting the artist directly. Just that particular panel looked... Not right. I'm sure this isn't gonna look right. Cause I zoomed into it. Yeah, see, that's fucking disproportionate. Yeah. That's why you don't zoom in, kids. <laughs> and that's why it's called a warm up. You make a mistake, you adapt, and you learn. And you move on. I feel like I could do more. Part of me really wants to do more. Oh, that I need to move over. That's horrendous. Yeah, I'm gonna hang those. There we go. I think that makes more sense. So this hair needs to come. Down and over. Yeah, there we go. That looks right. Yeah, and then she's got more shit happening back here. I 
I love doing curly hair. This looks like hot trash right now, but in general, I like doing curls. It is fun. That's one thing I really like about drawing Havana from our comic issues now on Indiegogo. Please go check it out. Uh, issues volume one, also in the description. Um, Havana, that's right. Uh, she's muscular, so you get a lot of that definition. She can do a lot of dynamic uh, shit, but also she has long flowing curly hair. So that adds a lot of movement that w would be lost if, uh, say I was drawing Anne, who generally speaking has her hair pinned up. So when you have your short hair or a hair pinned back, it can uh, limit the silhouette. Um, so you have to more rely on the figure, but um, the hair can add a lot of movement as well. Now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to shade. No, we're not doing that. There we go. Just doing bulk shading again, just to warm up, getting the feel. Not doing anything outrageous, not doing a competition. Although Gary Shipman is holding an art contest as well as War Dance Comics. Um, yeah, Gary Shipman's holding one that is going on now until January 15th, so it is ending very soon. And then um, we are holding an art contest for issues where you can get. Um, your art included in the book. Uh, for more details, there is a video on our YouTube channel. Um, what else? But yeah, just a warm up. Not doing anything crazy. And like I said, her shirt was flowing. So there's this thing going on in here. There's that, there's a hard line right there, but then it fades into, I don't know, actually it's light. You trippy. It, I love shadow. Grayscale is probably one of my favorite color schemes, just because I, I hate color. I can color. I just, it's not my favorite. It's extremely easy to get the colors um, muddled, I guess is the correct word for it. It's really easy to muddy them up and just pick, pick the wrong colors. They don't blend, they don't work together. And when you're trying to find like a specific color, it's not really working with the, um, the colors uh, around it. Sometimes you're like, oh yeah, this looks great. And then you step back and you're just like, that doesn't match. <laughs> so I just learning. I will say though, Kyle Ritter, he fucking knows his colors, man. Dude knows what he's doing. And then we're going to get that. There we go. Yeah, 
And for those of you who don't know, I'm using the lasso tool. And again, I'm using my um, Clip Studio Tab Mate um, in my other hand. I have a um, Microsoft Surface with a clip-on keyboard, and I like to keep it under the surface out of the way while I'm working. So since I don't have access to hotkeys, um, this supplements quite well. And um, I don't have to worry about what I'm hitting either. Like, it's almost like when, you, um, when you're playing video games for so long and you get used to the controller and the, uh, you even start remembering like all little special moves and stuff. That's how this feels. So I don't have to sit there and look at the keyboard and stuff like that and hit the wrong button. This is, this is super nifty. It's like a, what is it, the, the Wii Nunchuck, somebody told me. <laughs> somebody compared it to a Wii Nunchuck, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty much the most accurate way to describe it. It just feels really nice, really natural, highly recommend. There is no shade there. Silly. But there is shade there. And I didn't go all the way down. There's that. Mm, okay, her arm. I have a little bit there. It's hard getting the um, gray tones sometimes. Like, what I mean by gray tones is like you have your light shading and harsh shading. And if you're just doing the harsh shading, when it's a very blended area, deciphering which ones you want to include to where it doesn't look overworked. There we go some definition to that area. Okay, there's that. And the light does wrap around her shoulder, cuts into her hair. Forehead does have some as well. There's that. Really? Damn. Almost there, guys. Hmm. Forgot all this now. That looks about right. Do, do, do. Add a few more here and there. She's kicking a bag, so that's a shadow from the bag. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. Simple, super rough. Ah, eh. Ah. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. close enough. <laughs> There's not much detail on that bottom leg, so I'm not too worried. Um, yeah. So this has been a fun, quick little warm-up. Thank you for joining me. Um, be sure to check out Issues Volume 1 only on Indiegogo. We still have a lot of tiers available. Um, better grab it now before we start closing them. As production gets farther along, we will have to start closing them because there are cameo tiers um, we are boasting the most cameo tiers and the cheapest cameo tiers in independent comics right now. And we would love for you to be a part of the story. We have the story and the lore already established and we just want you fans to be a part of it. For fans, by fans. By fans, for fans. Whatever. You get my point. So um, go check out Issues Volume 1 
on Indiegogo, be a part of the art contest, check out our other content, follow us on social media, the links are in the below, and you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next video.